Hey everyone, my name is Hemi, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating the cinematic piece Titan using Audic's latest release, The Soundstorm Volume 1 Origins. Find the purchase link and the full music link in the description below. Here you can see the library loaded on my contact interface, but before we dive into the details, let's break down the structure of the music. I like to categorize tracks into four layers, foreground, middle ground, background, and the percussion. I usually kick things off with the background stuff. Setting a tone or mood for the entire piece makes it easier to fill in other instruments later. The ambiences instrument in the library is exactly what I'm after. Add some risers to enhance the mood. and a siren for an extra decorative effect. I've specifically included a riser to fill the lower frequency spectrum, while the rest span across the middle and higher frequencies. I've also added a band EQ to further boost the lower frequency. Let's take a moment to listen to the opening of the piece. Now let's add some leads. The instrument I'm using is the strings and brass orchestral. The original sample sounded like pads with a long attack. A great feature of the Soundstorm library is the ability to adjust settings within the instrument, making them sound staccato or even percussive. I've sped up the attack and let the sample start about one-third of the note length. There are different timbres to choose from in the drop-down menu, and I've selected Orchestral Strings 2 and Layering with Orchestral Brass 5. In the foreground, there's another riser resembling a flying machine taking off. This is also for decorative effect. Moving to the mid-ground, I'm using the strings and brass orchestral, and in the drop-down menu, I'm using the orchestral brass 5. This instrument mainly plays some chords, establishing a powerful and commanding sense or assertiveness. For those crafting music for games, adding sound effects can spice things up. The Soundstorm nails it. This library offers a variety of elements. I've added a siren sound just down below the chords. Down here in the background, we have the pad number 5, playing a fast passage instead of pedal notes. It sounds almost like an organ, giving you a feeling of venturing into a dungeon or castle to complete a quest. To add more punch to the soundtrack, I'm using Organic Heat Set 1 as a drum. These hits work more like impacts, however, you can adjust the sample start to make the note play right on the transient. I've also added powerful bass blasts on every downbeat. On the offbeats, you will hear some hits. I'm using the elements hit set 3. I've panned one track to the left channel and duplicated it to the right, creating echoes that give a hollow industrial ambience to the machine sounds reverberating throughout. I've intentionally made the echoes come just half a second ahead of the real attacks. This is just a creative choice. There's no specific reason for doing that, and you can do it however you want with your music. I've ran out of 16 channels in the end, so down here I added one more track. This one is called the REKD Hit Set.
Next up, we're going to use a dive bomb as a transition to the climax of the music. Meanwhile, it overlays with two risers and a reverse effect. In the end, I've added a choir. The Soundstorm is a great asset to blend with other libraries. The main melody here is just the choir and the orchestral strings and brass playing chords. The rest of the layers are the same instruments we used earlier, risers, dive bombs, siren, percussion, etc. Now let's have a listen to the final part. Note that in the final moments, I incorporated some subtle low-frequency impacts, allowing it to reverberate and resonate, leaving behind an industrial emptiness that echoes through the conclusion of the piece. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful in crafting your own cinematic soundtrack.